Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. We witnessed a very tumultuous year last year in the democratic space. It, there's now broad consensus that there's a shrinking democratic space. The uh, Zambia Conference of Catholic Bishops aired their concerns, you know, accused the president of not allowing political rallies, shrinking uh, freedoms of ri rights and freedoms of people, the Evangelical Fellowship uh, uh, of Zambia, another church grouping, also raised similar concerns especially that time with the happenings around the Patriotic Front, the Council of Churches in Zambia, CCZ, also raised the same concerns. The Law Association of Zambia have also raised the same concerns. The reaction from the UPND has been that, no, what are you talking about? The PF was worse. The PF was violent. The PF didn't allow rallies. You were charged with a very sensitive portfolio as Minister of Home Affairs, we're privileged. I think you're one of those longest serving ministers of Home Affairs. Just speak to those issues and why people are saying they're shrinking democratic space while the UPND think that we were worse. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, my brother, uh, for um, bringing up that very interesting uh, topical issue. Um, and I wanted to say this, that uh, we who um, privileged to be leaders mm -hmm. must learn to understand all the time that uh, the authority that we thrive on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is people's given. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's people's authority. Yeah. It's not ours. Mm -hmm. And I think many times when we are in top authority, government. I, I, I don't know probably what happens to us. Mm. And I'm saying this without being malicious. Yeah. You know, sometimes you tend to forget and get carried away mm. with that authority. And you slowly st start forgetting where it comes from. Mm. It comes from the so, people. The moment we start appreciating that aspect, mm. I think then democracy will grow mm. without yeah. encumbrances. The institutions that you have referred to, the stakeholders that you have referred to, the church mother bodies, um, Law Association of Zambia, among others, should be treated as mirrors of society. Mm. 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 Because a mirror will just reflect what it has captured. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are the image captured by the mirror being reflected, you must ask yourself, let's say you have got a wrinkled face, mm, mm. you have just uh, been, you know, uh, scratched. And the mirror shows you when you go in front of it, mm. You can't say the mirror is you lying. Can, yeah, you can't say the mirror is lying. Mm. <laughs> it will just show you. So it's saying go and do something mm. if you want to go out there and look like a normal person. Mm. So you go and deal with the face and comb your hair properly. Mm. Then you come out. When you go and you want it to show you mm. what it's recapturing, because it's in your mind that you want mm. to look, you are already looking good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I didn't have to 
Nila abantu wako wero. Yero wa mwana kwa tiyo kofu mine. Abantu wa shiri mwino. So what I'm trying to say is that there is what would be the benefit for the church mother bodies to raise concerns, raise concerns about government when there are no concerns. Mm. What would be the reason? Mm. So these are questions that you need to ask. And then if you are the one that is being reflected, the mirror showed you that you have got and then you are trying to say, ah, this mirror is defective. Mm. Break it. Mm. Go to the next one. It shows you the same thing. You break, break it. the mirror. Mm. How many mirrors are you going to break mm. Mm. before you get to fix yourself? Mm. Mm. Okay, so you can deal with all these stakeholders. Change mother bodies to hell. Lower mm. association of Zambia to hell. Does the problem Other go away? Other stakeholders to mm. hell. Mm. Mm. The problem won't get, go away. It will just get worse. Mm. And the, 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 the fact that time will be ticking, mm. there will be time to come and be held up. Accountable. Account. Mind you, like I said, mm. the authority that we go with in government is people given. Mm. So whether you hit yourself on the chest and say, no, for us, to hell with the church. <laughs> we know what we're doing. Mm. The people that gave you the authority will be waiting. At that point, they, they, will be, they, might, be, they might look helpless. Mm. Mm. But they wait at an opportune time. They mm. may look uh, docile. Mm. Uh, as mm. Sometimes people say Zambians are docile. Yeah. But the fact that they've changed the government now the third time mm. should show you mm. that people are becoming um, knowledgeable mm. whether they are educated or not mm. they are becoming to appreciate their right yeah. and their authority mm. so when they are saying ah, it sounds as if they are teasing you or, but it's now happening mm. speaking about MPs for example you have yeah. seen the turnover of mm. MPs. Mm. There are very few of us, Mr. Mamba, mm. who could say we have uh, the we have been privileged mm. to go the third time. It's not mm. easy. Mm. The, the factors are so many. Sometimes mm. the, 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 our colleagues are judged uh, mm. by the people, are misjudged. Mm. You understand? Mm. So the, the, there are so many things that are going on. Citizens are becoming very active. Exactly. Mm. Sometimes they even make mistakes. Mm. Mm. You know, by misjudging a person who could have meant well for them, mm. they end up with the worst. Yeah. So these are things that I think we need to reflect on. So when we say the democratic space is shrinking, and many stakeholders have spoken to that, mm. you can't. Uh, there's nothing that I can add mm. or mm. subtract, mm. but just to reaffirm mm. what many stakeholders have expressed. And you know, when to compare what PF record was and the it doesn't make a situation any better. Mm. So if the, are, if the Inspector General of Police, and you've guided him before, you've made remarks, has repeatedly refused for the opposition to have um, political rallies, to have you know, open-air meetings. And um, many stakeholders have come, to, have come to the conclusion that the current Inspector General of Police is, is literally now a danger to our democracy because it doesn't want citizens to exercise their rights. Yeah, you, you had some, several uh, uh, IGs uh, um, uh, save government, save the president through you as Minister of Home Affairs. What was your guidance? Did, did you stop political rallies? Did you, how did, for example, opposition leader, President Akainde Chilema hold those meetings and those political rallies? Um, Ambassador, before I even get to the Inspector General, in concluding with the aspect of the shrinking democratic space, it yeah. all boils down to the head of state, mm. the one that has got the mandate mm. to run this country. Mm. Because he's the commander in chief. Mm. The person we are talking to, talking about, is the Inspector General. He's an appointee. He's an appointee. Mm. You, you understand? Mm. So if the Inspector General has seen the tone, from his commander-in-chief, mm. he is probably just towing the line. Mm. You understand? Mm. Mm. So it, it all uh, goes back to what the head of state wants to achieve. He was in opposition himself before, mm. and he, was made to, he managed to get into government. Mm. So to mm. try and compare Patriot Front and themselves would not be fair. Mm. Because at the end of the day, if it was that bad, 
probably might not, you couldn't be sitting in state house today. Yeah, yeah. But you recall that even during the COVID, at the height big of time, COVID. height of COVID, their yeah. leadership came mm -hmm. to engage myself as Minister of Home Affairs then and the Inspector General on the modalities of how they were going to, head, to hold their conference mm, mm. to choose their national management committees mm. and their provincial leadership. Mm. We had to find a modality of them to do that. You cooperated we, with them. We worked together. They came and they made presentations through their leadership. Mm, mm. Uh, Honorable Jack Mumbu then and uh, Honorable Garin Kombo mm. was part of that team, the Mr. Stephen Katuka mm. and many other leaders. They came. Mm to make presentations. This is how we want to do it, mm. because we can't... We don't want to breach um, yeah, so COVID regulations. That shows you how much of cooperation was there. Mm. And, you know, like um, the, 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 the other time I was saying, you know, sometimes we don't learn. Mm. Mm. You, know, we, we, you, you know, sometimes you want to come and throw the... The, 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 the baby with the bath water. <laughs> water. Yeah. The lady who has been victimized, and I'm happy that the nation have been able to see that this professional civil servant, mm -hmm. in the name of Red Cross Societies, mm -hmm. who manages Madame societies, Madame mm -hmm. because it also comes back to the same democratic space that we are talking about. Yes, her role is to regret societies, mm -hmm. and as you know, political parties, political parties are not exclusively provided for in, in our registration. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the act that the social societies uses to administer yes. and to regulate mm -hmm. societies, including political parties, is the CAP 119 of the Laws of Zambia, the mm -hmm. um, Social Societies Act. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. act does not provide exclusive for political parties. Yes. So what yes. happens, Mr. Ambassador, mm -hmm. if you want to form a political party, you will have to come up with your constitution. Oh, she regulates, or oh, that office Precisely. regulates all societies. All societies. From churches, NGOs, exactly, to political parties. Exactly, including political parties. But mm. the churches and other uh, non-government organizations are all provided for. Mm. Like I'm saying, political parties are the ones that are not exclusively, especially after the, multi -party, the, the reintroduction of multi-party politics. Mm. So what the Red of Societies does is to interpret political party constitutions mm -hmm. read together with the, the act. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, mm -hmm. you cannot go and prevail on her to ignore the laid down procedures, procedures and, and the provision of that constitution of that society. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we are in the we were in the we are supposed to be in the process of anyway coming up with uh, political parties uh, a, a bill which then can come culminate into an act mm -hmm. so that it directly speaks Regulate. and operationalizes some parts of Article 60 of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's a topic for another day. I mm -hmm. think we we'll many times. No, the issue that, of uh, re the issue of the register of societies was under your office. Yes, and we yes. saw UPND claim that uh, you know your office also um, uh, interfered with the registrar in relation to some political parties then i would tell you something mm. with some uh, 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 ambassador that that uh, professional having worked with her and um, uh, a few others is a lady of substance mm. Mm. and uh, she uh, understood her job mm. Mm. And, you know, she handled so many uh, political party disputes. Mm. NDC mm. Uh, and, um, and many others. Mm. Where there were disputes, she would just say, go to court. Mm. Once the court determines, then you we'll come implement. back. Mm. I've heard people talk about MMD. Mm. MMD, mm. the in-house... Uh, arrangements of the conferences. Mm. You never saw Mr. Mutati, and he's still alive. You can speak to him. You, you never saw Mr. Mutati being escorted by police mm. to go and have a retreat. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they went to a convention and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Mutati. Today, to, you know, we saw a large number of police deployment at Radisson Blue 
where our dear brother was having a meeting. We never saw that opposition guarded in the manner that they are guarding, uh, you know, our dear brother, the stooge there. Again, that goes to show you that mm. uh, there's something serious and mm. there's something wrong. Mm. How many political parties do we have? Mm. Mm. Hari Karawa is, is a leader of a political party. Mm. So is uh, Mr. Fred Membe. Mm. Um, uh, Mr., uh, my, my, my brother, Mr. Winter Kabimba, who I saw visiting community house the other day, mm. uh, is a political party. I've never seen him with police. Yeah. Wherever he holds his gatherings, there's no police. Mm. So mm. some of these things, you know, sometimes I've, I've always said, Mr. Ambassador, you have mm. a uh, civil servant yourself, yeah. and you have been on the international, you know, you have been in other uh, jurisdictions. Mm. Statecraft is uh, used by all governments. Yeah. But governments should not be reckless mm. with the way they use statecraft. Statecraft mm. should be used for the common good mm. of citizens. Mm. But the moment you start misapplying Mm. statecraft mm. and start uh, disadvantaging citizens, mm. a certain class of citizens, then it becomes abuse of authority. Mm. And this is what we are seeing. It's, and it's a clear and abuse of authority. A clear abuse of authority. Mm. And some people will be made to, to account for that. One day. You know, mm. it's, it's, it's important. When you are swimming in authority, sometimes mm. you don't see these things. Mm. But time mm. comes. There's, mm. I mean, these are tours of duty. Yeah. Whether you like yeah. it or not, yeah. it's a tour of duty that will begin from one point and end mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. It's better to do it, the right thing the entire time. People are tempted to, to, to increase the terms of offices, but a tour of duty will come, come to an, to an end. end. Mm -hmm. And that's the interest of democracy. Yeah. And like I said, people would look to be docile mm -hmm. uh, when they are watching you do some of these illegalities. Mm -hmm. But time comes. Mm -hmm. Time mm -hmm. comes. Mm -hmm. And like I've said, our colleagues in government today are not the first. Mm -hmm. You know, we had UNIP. Yeah. And I think we are yet to have a leader mm -hmm. who will be as strong as, as Dr. Kaunda. Mm -hmm. So we all must understand and appreciate that when you are given an opportunity by the citizens of this country, mm -hmm. it should appeal to your mind that mm -hmm. I'm not the first, neither am I going to be the last. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, you know, for 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 my plea to those yeah. in, 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 in the authority now is just understand that whatever you set others mm. will be the same measure Medicine. Mm. that could be used against, against you. you. And mm. so it's, it's not like to, to, to threaten them. We, we thought we could be here, mm. uh, Mr. Mamba. Mm. Eh? Mm. We thought, mm. no, the Zambians will still give us another mandate. Yeah. 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 Mm. But here we are. We are in opposition. Mm. Yes. Mm. We shouldn't regret, but that's the nature mm. of democracy. Mm. And even our colleagues, they will say, no, we go beyond so much and what not. Mm. And you're looking at their performance. Yes, mm. it's, 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 uh, it's, it's allowed. You can, mm. you know, mm. but time will come. So, let them just focus on doing what people expect them to do. Mm, mm. Mind you, there's a catalogue of promises mm, that people mm. of Zambia are still looking at. Mm, and you mm. know, now we're in a uh, digital age. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So, and for those of you who are in government, you may think when people are asking about these things, mm. it won't matter. Mm. It will certainly matter. Mm. So, I will come to that, that issue of promises later on. Yeah. But, in getting to the police inspector general, yeah, like I said, it's 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 all about top leadership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. So if you know that you can misconduct yourself and get away, and, with, and it. Get away with it, and your leaders don't see anything wrong to mm -hmm. remind you, mm -hmm. you can just go to the moon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like I've always said to him, it's not general. that I've got anything against him personally. No, 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 no you are very right. I don't. I didn't have an opportunity to work with him. So it shows you how long he has been 
away from the service. Mm. You understand? Mm. Uh, you know, even the book which has been in the shelf for a long time, you can dust it up and you know, sometimes you think dust has finished. Just as you are flipping the pages, you choke up. Mm. So, mm. I know that when I inspect a general of police, yeah, yeah. Kale mwa fumine muli bo polisi. Epo na hina isu wa dimbina. Mu 2010. 2010. But that's 20 years ago. And I'll tell you this. We have a report at parliament. Which is a parliamentary report. From the committee responsible for security and foreign affairs. Which went to look at the matters of the police service. In last session. Yeah. It brought out serious issues mm. which were debated on the floor. Wow. How does the police were given free? Uh, because you know when they are given immunity by, by, by the committee, they are free to express themselves. Mm. They spoke. First of all, their displeasure. Because you see, they all, you know, they, 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 these people in uniforms, if there's something... Their that, career. Their, their career. Ca yes, their career. Policemen, their career professionals. So now you... We, you rise. You excel. Mm. You rise. And you must... You know, you, they, 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 that's what gives them pride. Mm. How you are dressed up on the shoulders mm. and uh, you, 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 you are capacitated. Now, if you start putting prospects down on other ranks... And say, look, you, you can't, you can't proceed. It's here. We are going to get those that have worked before. The retirees. What are you doing to the service? Mm. So first of all, me have had a problem, and the committee of parliament found that problem mm. because mm. officers express themselves. They mm. say there's got so many vibrant, they are demotivated. young men and women mm. who could talk up these jobs. Mm. Yes, you can plug one uh, from the retired to just say, you know, for you know. If you, you so much want the, the, the institutional memory, one or two, one mm. is acceptable, but not where you go and uh, you, you do the entire command. Now. Mm. That for me, mm. not that I'm against anyone personally, mm. it doesn't fly. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. fly for the systems. Mm. You are stifling mm. the, the, the systems. You mm. imagine. Career growth. Exactly. And motivation so, in the service. You can understand. Mm -hmm. You know, he has to please the masters. You know, you have been sleeping, you have tired, you are, then you are brought into service. What else can you do mm -hmm. apart from just pleasing the one that has said, come back? No innovation. But I need just a pa, pa, pa mm -hmm. here. <laughs> uh, so you, you, you know, you, 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 you start seeing others as junks, mm -hmm. but what do they see in you? Yeah. <laughs> just as you are seeing them as junks, mm -hmm. uh, junkies. They also think you may be, you know... Oh, those remarks by the IG yeah, are very Very motivating. You very cannot motivating. say there are junkies in the police. You Not at all. Say that. Because, you see, every that, government... That, that, that is your staff. They reflect who you are. Bamamba, mm. recruitment of public service is routine mm. for every government. Mm. So every government that will form government will, have will, recruit. will, 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 super, will, will, will supervise recruitment and make sure that they continue. Because the population is growing. Mm -hmm. So you have to continue matching the, 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 the ratio between the, 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 the services of Zambia Police, for example, and the public. And also so the, the purpose of recruitment, the purpose, the, of, yeah, the purpose of recruitment is first, number one, you replace those that were deceased in the year, those that retired. And retired, not bring yeah. back, retired. Yeah, exactly. That's recruitment. Mm. Those that could be in school, those that could have, you know, uh, resigned. That's the purpose of recruitment. And so like it you, you are bringing fresh breed. Yes. Fresh yes. energy. Yes. You know, what is, as you are growing up, you are getting mm. tired. Mm. So, mm. a police officer who could have served 30 years mm. cannot be as effective as a police officer who was who is serving uh, who's, who's his new. first five years. Yeah. So, yeah. it's important yeah. that you continue bridging. Now, not bring him back. Mm. The uh, retirees. Retired <laughs> bring, <laughs> the retired <laughs> prince. But my plea to the Inspector General is to appreciate that that job Yes, appointed by the head of state, but it's a people's job. Mm -hmm. He has a responsibility. They are creatures of the constitution. The exactly. Of the, uh, Inspector General and Police they, is in the constitution. That's it. They should be more loyal to the constitution than to... That's you know, it, to an individual. Yeah. More, more, moreover, they are not... You know, being an Inspector General does not make you above the law. No. 
no. that you can do everything with impunity. Mm. You can mm. be held accountable. Mm. And like I've, I've guided before, mm. just like we were there, mm. we were not the first and last. Mm. Even those that are there, mm. like I said again, it's two of duty. Yeah. He's not yeah. the first inspector general, mm. neither is he going to be the last one. Mm. So he must desist mm. the temptation of wanting to think that now he has become almighty. Mm. He can go and do this and everything, which everybody should jump. Mm. Yeah, well, the inspector say they didn't go and hide. Mm. No. Mm. When you cage people, there will come a time mm. when they will say enough is enough. Mm. And that's not a desirable mm. place to be. Mm. Mm. It's not a desirable in, place In to fact, be. because you added issues of national security, um, the IMF in their 2022 report that was released in 2023 and the Economic Intelligence Unit have stated that the state of our country, because of economic conditions, uh, legacy issues such as poverty, unemployment, the security situation is quite sensitive. In fact, they've predicted that there might be civil unrest or popular protests because of how the population is living. So I find it very strange that you have a government then that conducts itself in a careless manner to a citizenry that is literally at the brink of protest. You ban political rallies, you have an inspector general who disregards citizens. Um, you have a government that talks over citizens and, you know, what is your reflection on those issues? Because you must have sat in those security clusters and dealt with issues like that. Um, it's interesting. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, maybe before I speak about the issue of national security, yeah. I would like to say that the issue of public gatherings mm. are subjected to the law. Yeah. You know, the, 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 there is a law in place, the Public Order Act. Mm. In as much as it, it is called a cake and what, it does guide mm. on what should be done. Mm. And I'm surprised that sometimes people are speaking to things that are not in the law. Yeah. You can't say you have to go and get a permit. All you do, uh, Ambassador Mamba, when you want to have a procession or a gathering, is to notify mm. the police mm. within a period of you know, seven the days. police refuse to take that notice yeah, and tell see, you that that's you why they, a rally. That's why they get dragged to court. You mm. remember the, 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 there was a, an interesting uh, uh, a case that was taken to court by the junior doctors, mm. which gave, gave effect to the, some amendments to, to the public order. Mm. So it's just a misunderstanding. There's no need for a permit. It's a notification. Mm. And of course the police, all they have to do is Find out how the procession is going to be conducted, who is going to be marshals, and who is going to, to be responsible for what. Mm, mm. And they provide security if there is need for that. Now, the if they are UPND, serious, if they are serious, and the mm. UPND Deputy Secretary General, Batuke Menda, oh sorry, Gertrude Menda, said they will not allow the opposition to have rallies. We thought it was the UPND speaking. They, they could be in government, but they are not government. The same statement was repeated now by the Inspector General of Police and decided the issue of security concerns. But again, it's just organized confusion. Mm. I can just describe it that way. Mm. It's organized confusion. Mm. The, 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 Madam Imenda, who is a former Honorable Member of Parliament, um, uh, uh, and I worked with her uh, quite closely because we were elected at the same time, although she mm. only served for one term. Yeah, but she has got no mandate. She's a former lawmaker mm. who should understand that they ah, are being deputy secretary general of a political party. Mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, although in the ruling part, they are, they, she has got no mandate mm -hmm. to make government pronouncements, mm. to even give directives to, 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 to the police, and she can't stop anyone. Mm -hmm. The same rights that she has to enjoy are the same rights that uh, uh, Citizens First uh, Party should enjoy. Mm. Are the same rights that Patriot Front should enjoy. Mm. Mm. So her is, 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 should understand the lane. This mm. is where we say, keep your lane. Mm. Mm. You know, don't... <laughs> but the organized confusion I've seen in the UPND, uh, with yeah. the UPND, is that you don't know who is who. Mm. Who has got what mandate and what authority? Everybody mm. can sit on the on the on the 
on the media platform and start making pronouncements. pronouncements but yeah. that's very dangerous mm. for the state mm. because they are now in government. They must distinguish part functionaries and government mm. uh, work. Those the, the, the ministers who are political party uh, members. And the utterances by the IG literally taking away rights That's of political parties. I mm. cannot call it lawlessness, Mr. Mm. Uh, 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 Ambassador Mamba. Mm. That's lawlessness. And I've spoken about it, not, not, not that I've hidden. Yeah. I've cautioned the Inspector General to say, please be law-abiding. Mm. Mm. Making you an Inspector General of Police does not make you above an the law. individual above the law. Mm. 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 He must be guided. Mm. He must mm. understand that whatever he decides mm. must be within the confines of the law. Mm. 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 That's what he's, he's, he's supposed to do. So, he should understand mm. that, yes, sometimes, you know, he wants to sensationalize and when he wants to talk about the police service itself, sometimes you sit back and say, oh my God, yeah. what yeah. has happened? Mm. You know? This is a person whose record shows that he was he was he was a professional police. Mm. But again, you know, I think the period he stayed from the service is mm. too long. Mm. It's too long. Mm. Yeah, it's too it's, long. I mean, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> let's so speak it's, about. It's understandable, but, yeah, let's speak about. But he has, he has to understand that security is a very complex matter. Mm -hmm. You can equip the police. You can equip all the security institutions. Mm -hmm. But security is such a, a, a very fluid. interesting component. Mm, mm. There is a correlation between food security, for example, mm. and national security. Mm. That's why you find that any security cluster mm. must take an interest in what is obtaining mm. in so far as food security is concerned. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.